to determine the position of loops in interphase chromosomes a technique known as chromosome conformation capture or 3c method is used in this technique cells containing dna bound to dna binding proteins are treated with formaldehyde due to this formaldehyde treatment covalent dna protein and dna dna cross links are created in the next step the dna is cut with a restriction endonuclease as a result many dna pieces are formed this restriction endonuclease cuts the dna at strictly defined nucleotide sequences and forms set of identical cohesive ends the cohesive ends can be joined through their complementary base pairing the dna is then diluted as a result the fragments of dna that have been kept in close proximity to each other are the ones most likely to join in the next step dna ligation occurs as a result a ligated dna with dna protein and dna dna cross links is formed in the next step the ligated dna with dna protein and dna dna cross links is treated with heat and proteolysis as a result newly ligated dna fragments are formed with the removal of cross links these newly ligated dna fragments have dna probes that are used for pcr or polymerase chain reaction in the next step the newly ligated or joined dna fragments with their dna probes go through pcr this pcr acts as a test for joined segments after going through pcr a dna product is obtained only if proteins hold the two dna sequences close together in the cell please like subscribe and share